So, news today. Stuart McCall has just been sacked within the last hour or so. And um, after yesterday's performance at Rochdale, I think we could all see it coming. Like I said in the video yesterday, the first half, really good. Second half, we were nowhere. Nothing changed. And I think over the period of the last few games, away games especially, the tactics, he's gone looking for draws. He's set up really defensively, gone looking for draws. That's not gone in his favour. We've not got any draws, we've lost them. And um, I think the results were speaking for themselves. Yeah, granted there's only seven games left towards the end of the season. Could we have stuck it out? I don't think so. We've slipped too far down for my liking to be um, to be safe. I think it needs some fresh impetus. Somebody else to come in, some fresh ideas. And in doing so, the new person coming in, I think it's, I read Andy Dawson. He's going to be uh, looking after the team affairs till the end of the season, which is great. He's been there, done it before, granted with the help of others. But um, I think he can do it again. I think we can get be safe. I don't think we'll get relegated. If we'd have kept Stuart McCall, I think possibly we would have been. Main priority is that we stay in League One. I don't know what you guys think of um, the sacking. I know on Twitter there's been a bit of reaction. Some people aren't happy about it. Other people, a lot more people, I'd say, are glad that it's happened. But there was just... I don't know, his teams, I know he, he said when he came in, there'd be exciting football. It has been exciting, but for the opposition. Their fans have been loving life. They're the ones getting excited, pumping goals past us week in, week out. So ultimately, bad results, um, bad performances, been terrible to watch, have culminated in um, McCall being sacked. So I think, am I happy myself? I think it needed a change. Whether it was the team needed changing, which ultimately would have been Stuart McCall changing the team, and he didn't seem like he wanted to. The same back two have come in for a lot of criticism yet. They've had their good games as well. I'm not going to take that away from them. But there's always a mistake there. There's always a mistake. Yesterday, McArdle, um mistake led to the first goal for Rochdale. And I think, you know, that needed change in the defensive line up needed change at the back the back two you know we've got Baron Webster and we've got um, Harris McGay in they can both play centre back put them in why not you know and I think his stubbornness he seems stubborn not to change that um, defensive partnership and blaming fitness and match sharpness for um, Baron Webster which you're not going to get that fitness and match sharpness if you're not playing games anyway so you know we've gone on we've been losing a few away games now bring him in if we're going to lose why not let him get some match fitness and sharpness in there as well? You know, that's just one little gripe I had about, um, about things, especially yesterday when he, he said that on the radio as well. So, you know, thank you for everything you've done, Stuart, but we move on, and hopefully Scunthorpe will be a better team without you now. And I think a game against Wimbledon, yeah, it was a must-win game anyway, it still is a must-win game, but I think there'll be changes um, to the team made, personally. I think the back two will definitely be changed. I can't see them being together for Wimbledon. Um, I think uh, Hamill will come in as well and start on the wing. So, I just, yeah, it is what it is. We are where we are. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can um, put a bit of distance between the bottom four and ourselves. We've got seven games left to do it, 21 points. Let's get behind the team. Let's get behind the management team and let's get behind the chairman and move forward as one.